Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I have a bunch of fall-inspired outfits from Walmart to share with you. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. I am going to link all of the pieces that I talk about in this video, as well as pieces that you might spot during the try-ons in the description box below. The first head-to-toe fall outfit from Walmart that I want to share with you starts with the top that I have on. I always think that plaid is quintessentially fall, and I especially like the color of this one. This one is by Time and Truth. They're calling this simply the flannel shirt. It is under $15. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL. It is available in four colorways. What I'm showing is the island purple in size small. The fabric is, wait for it, 100% cotton, so very breathable. The care is super easy. It is machine wash cold and tumble dry. This button down top features a point collar, a working chest pocket, which honestly I never put anything in. Let me know if you ever use a chest pocket because I certainly don't, but I digress. I kind of wish I had sized up on this though because at 100% cotton, I feel sure that there is going to be some shrinkage. I like to style this a number of different ways. Now at 5'4", this top is long enough for me to wear with leggings. I also like to wear a top like this with jeans, maybe do a little front tuck or or even tie it in the front and then leave the curved hem on the outside. I think that looks cute. I also think that this makes a great layering piece, especially if you size up, which I should have done. I love the colors in this. It has some navy blue, some lavender, and some fuchsia. I like how this one is a take on the fall plaid, but it looks very feminine and pretty to me. I do want to point out that to me, this is barely a flannel. It almost honestly just feels like a button-up top. It doesn't have that tactile kind of fuzzy, cozy feel to it, and it is on the thin side. As a point of reference, when I feel some of the other flannel tops, even in the men's department, they have that plush, cushiony, cozy feel. This one does not. I just wanted to point that out, but it is perfect for layering. Now, when I was in store, I couldn't make up my mind which one of these I wanted and since they both matched the top that I'm wearing, I picked them both up. This is another baby blanket soft fabric. I love the color to this. It has the slightest bit of a gather at the sleeve, which gives it a very minimal puff sleeve, but definitely not poofy or overdone at all. The buttons are working, but on me at least, it was definitely hitting me at just the right place, so I wouldn't unbutton it any further. And it does have this comfortable crew neckline. I like to have these layering pieces for when I have a hot flash in particular. I always dress in layers in the fall and winter. I just can't wear a big chunky sweater that's just all one piece so I love having pieces like this to layer with in one of the try on sequences I'm sure that you notice that I take the plaid top that I have on and I tie it around my waist that is not a fashion statement I was having a hot flash at that very moment and I just wanted to see how it looked I thought it looked cute to me the quality of this one feels really nice my favorite shoes with this particular outfit have to be these wet Western style boots from Walmart. I did share these in my previous video that I called the easiest fall trend that you can wear. This is probably my favorite Walmart purchase in a pretty long time. I almost didn't pick up this lighter color. I got these in a cognac as well, but when I watched the footage back, I loved so many of the outfits with these. I did find these to be true to size as well. I picked these up in a size 8. I also show this time and true bag. It's called the Willow Crossbody. And I just want to point out that they match these slouch boots by time and true perfectly. To finish the look off, I had on these earrings and I am not going to recommend them. You'll notice that I have on a different pair entirely. After I filmed that video, I decided that I was not going to recommend these and here's why. They're $6.92, which I know I'm being dramatic, but that is a little bit expensive for Walmart, but that wasn't my issue. I thought they were so pretty. They're this gold tone and they had this really fun dangle. And I also thought that it really paired nicely with the Western inspired clothes that are on trend. But every time I went to put these on and off, this snap bar closure bent. I absolutely would have recommended these if this snap bar closure had a little bit more substance to it. But I had to take a little pair 
of tweezers and keep bending it back into place. And I'm not doing that, and I don't think you want to do that either. So if you see these in the store, they're cute, but I have to say that they're a little bit flimsy. We're going to pop into my kitchen for just a moment. I do want to thank today's sponsor, Green Chef. Now let's cook some delicious dinners together. Before my Green Chef order arrived this week, my refrigerator was looking pretty sparse. The only fresh ingredients I had on hand was a little bit of parsley and half of a lemon. I love loading up my refrigerator with all of these fresh, ready-to-prepare ingredients from Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal kit company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients. Green Chef offers meal kits for every lifestyle, including keto and paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. I also love the fact that each week my Green Chef meal kit is delivered right to my door, which saves me a trip to the grocery store. Another time saver and one of my favorite parts about Green Chef is the pre-made, pre-measured sauces, dressings, and custom spice blends. Not only do these speed up the preparation time, but they add amazing restaurant quality flavor to each and every dish. I would have a really hard time deciding which of the three recipes that I received this week was my favorite. I made the Monterey Jack smothered chicken with creamy mushroom sauce, roasted zucchini, tomato, and almonds. I love the freshness of the zucchini and the tomato with the cheesy goodness of the chicken and then that little bit of crunch from the almonds. The next meal that I made was a fall's finest selection. This is the pecan crusted sockeye salmon with creamy kale with shallots and roasted carrots. The final recipe in this box, and I saved it for the weekend because it was kind of a special occasion meal, is the beef tenderloin with brown butter carrots. The beef was so tender and flavorful. This restaurant quality meal was delicious with the garlicky broccoli and then a Worcestershire pan sauce. Green Chef now offers more variety and flexibility than ever before with double the choices. You can choose from all 24 recipes weekly with the option to mix and match meals from different preferences. So for example, maybe one meal you want keto and for another meal you want the fast and fit and now you can mix them in the same week. To get started, go to greenchef.com and use my code TeresaRenee135. This will give you $135 off across five boxes plus free shipping. I want to say a huge thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the fashion. The next head to toe outfit is built around this hoodie. I love this color so much. This one is by Time and True. It's the mixed media hoodie. It is under $20, but just under $19.98. It comes in sizes extra small through 3X, and it is available in four colors. All of the colors are deep, rich, saturated colors. I love that about it. The fabric is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. The care instructions are super easy. It says to machine wash cold inside out and tumble dry. This hoodie has easy pullover styling, a flattering v-neckline, which I do have some comments on in just a moment. It also has an attached hood with a drawstring. It's a mixed media fabrication with ripped cuffs and a relaxed fit. I love the deep rich color and the feel of this fabric. I think it will look adorable with leggings or skinny jeans and tall boots, honestly. I do want to point out that the V neckline plunges entirely too low on me. Now, generally speaking, I prefer to not have to work very hard to make a piece work. I realized that I could wear a cami under this, but then if a hot flash hits, I'm in trouble. So I'm seriously thinking about just putting a couple of stitches in the top of this because of the way it is sewn. I think that I can easily remedy this. Now, if I decide to keep this one, all I would do is put a couple of stitches right here so that it isn't too low cut on me. My main concern about this one, honestly, are these raw edges that are all throughout the mixed media. On the one hand, I like how the raw edges look, but I noticed when I brought this home that I had to take a pair of scissors and clip a bunch of random strings that were hanging. I'm worried that when this goes through the wash that these raw edges may unravel further. Now, if by chance you have this hoodie, 
and you have washed it, please let us know in the comments down below how this held up in the wash. It's just still too warm here in New Jersey to wash and wear this, so I can't even find out, honestly. I absolutely love this deep burgundy color. To complete this head-to-toe outfit, I went ahead and paired these with the same dark wash time and true high-rise skinny jeans and the slouch boots that I'm just really into right now. I also paired them with a pair of time and true earrings. You see these all of the time because I wear them in a lot of videos. I think these are such good quality for the price. I want to say that these are $3.88. They are still available online and in store. I see them at my local Walmart all of the time. I like that these just have a simple shepherd's hook rather than a snap bar closure. I wear these all of the time. They are light as a feather, but they really sparkle and twinkle. I'm showing you head to toe outfits, but if of course you know me. I have to show you a bunch of variations, so of course I'm showing additional looks with each of the pieces. For the next look, I did pick this sweater up in two colors because I couldn't decide. So I have the one in the front they're calling apple cider. I love the name of that. I also love apple cider, side note. And then they also have it in the green chili. These are also by Time and True. They're called the Mixed Stitch Sweater. They are $17.98. It comes in sizes extra small through 2XL. It comes in four colors, and as I mentioned, I picked up two of them. I do want to point out that there is a significant discrepancy in the fabric content on this particular item between what shows on the Walmart website and what the tag says. I mention this specifically because the fabric content is a big factor when I'm deciding whether I'm going to buy a garment or not. And I imagine that you're the same way. Maybe there are fabrics that you have an aversion to or particular blends that you're fond of and you know how they wash and you want to stick with that. I often unfortunately see discrepancies on the Walmart website and this is exactly why I check the label every single time. If I am showing you a garment I want to tell you what it is actually made out of and if the website is wrong I'm going to point it out. So here we go with this one. Online it says it is 66% acrylic and 34% polyester. And in the back of my mind, I was thinking, oh, that's a lot of acrylic. I have an aversion to acrylic. Is it going to feel scratchy? I was really worried about it. And here's the kicker. In person, on the tag, it says it is 94% acrylic and 6% spandex. So that is really alarming to me. Now I do have to admit that these do not have a scratchy feel to them. But with that said, I have to wonder what is up with these tag discrepancies. I know that I'm going on a little bit of a rant about the fabric content and it sounds like a small thing, but I make my buying decision based on what the fabric is. So then when the item arrives, if it's a completely different fabric content, honestly, I'm annoyed. But anyway, I'm going to move past it. The care instructions are easy. It's just machine wash cold inside out and tumble dry. This top features pullover styling with a crew neckline. It is a relaxed fit, but it's not oversized. In fact, I thought the fit of this was very flattering. It does have multi-cable knit stitching on the front sleeves and back, and it also has side slits. I know that some of you don't care for the side slits. I personally think that it helps the garment to lay nicer, but that's just me. To complete the look, I pulled the same high-rise skin jeans and then I also pulled the bootcut jeans and I liked these sweaters equally with both looks. I also pulled those same slouchy boots that I just can't stop wearing and the same matching bag and earrings. I do like this sweater and I'm trying not to be bitter about the fabric content discrepancy but let me know what you think about this one in the comments down below. Let's look at the next head to toe fall outfit. Now because the boyfriend cardigan is definitely on trend for fall 2022, I wanted to style at least one, but I wasn't sure how oversized I wanted it. So I picked it up in two colors and two sizes. These are also by Time and True. They're called the boyfriend cardigan. They are under $20, which I do think is a great price point. They're $18.98. They come in sizes extra small through 2XL and they are available in four colors. There are two solids and two stripes, and as I mentioned, I have two colors to share with you. The fabric is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic, so I do love the high cotton content. These have easy care instructions. It's just machine wash cold and then tumble dry. This cardigan is lightweight. It has a shaker stitch and then a flattering V-neckline, which I think is just perfect for layering, and I'll talk about the other pieces in just a moment. It does have a relaxed fit, 
and then two front patch pockets. Now with the striped version of this cardigan, I went ahead and popped a white button down top underneath. This one is from Walmart. I will link it in the description box below. I actually bought this one a couple of seasons ago, but it is back in store. I saw it just yesterday. I like the colors of this a lot. I've really been into this kind of camel caramel color lately, and it also ties back to a number of shoes that I own, but I wanted to try these with a pair of sneakers. I pulled a pair of white sneakers that I already own from Walmart. These are from last season, but I think they still have them in stock. They are by either Avia, Avia, however you say that. These are a size eight. They do run true to size. I wear these all of the time. I decided to complete this look with a pair of lighter wash jeans. So the ones that I'm showing in the try on are by Levi's. I will link them in the description box below as well. Now I do want to point out that if you have broader shoulders than I do, you can probably wear these boyfriend cardigans as a top on its own. I could not. It came entirely too low, so I wanted to put something under it. I put the button down top under it. I also tried it with a flesh tone cami because I kind of wanted that to disappear and just look like it was a v-neck. With the cream colored boyfriend cardigan, I pulled a cami that I had in my closet. I picked this up at Kohl's. I think it's by Apartment 9. It was under $30, but honestly any cami, any tank top, any button down top will do. I do like the boyfriend cardigan. The one that I have in my hand, the ivory, is a size small, and then the multicolor color blocked and striped one is a size medium. I would love to know which fit you prefer on me. Be sure and let me know in the comments down below. Garlicky broccoli and Worcestershire... Garlicky broccoli... It has... <clears throat> It has garlicky, it has garlicky, <laughs> it has garlicky broccoli and a Worcestershire sire pin. It was delicious with the garlicky broccoli and the pan saw. It was delicious with the garlicky broccoli and the Worcestershire sauce pan. This was absolutely delicious. This was a restaurant quality meal and it was delicious with the garlicky broccoli and the Worcestershire. This restaurant quality meal was delicious, especially with the garlicky broccoli and the Worcestershire. If you want to see even more affordable fashion for us ladies over 50, or maybe you're looking for styling tips or outfit inspiration, you're going to want to check out this video next. Thanks so much for watching and spending part of your day with me, and I will see you next time.